When it rains, it pours. And tonight, Boston College was pouring on the points over a UConn football team that couldn't seem to stop making crucial mistakes. UConn's offense was clicking early in this one, with Pindell and the offense driving down the field for a field goal and looking like a team that could compete with Boston College. This image was shattered quickly as UConn's offense seemed to slip away with the rain. In the second quarter, UConn managed only eight total yards and looked like they couldn't put any semblance of a drive together, all while BC was clicking on all cylinders. Once UConn finally started to get it going in the third quarter, David Pindell fell apart in the red zone, throwing two interceptions and failing to capitalize and put points on the board when they needed it most. I think we started pretty good, and when we got past the 20 into the tight red zone, we should have scored those two drives, but we got a... Uh, a penalty and then we didn't convert, so that's the thing you got to clean up. The defense wasn't doing much to help the cause either, allowing BC's running back AJ Dillon to get over 200 yards rushing. This is something a UConn defense hasn't allowed since Ray Rice did it to them in 2005. Overall, not too many bright spots for the Huskies in this one. In a stadium full of excited UConn fans, they ultimately couldn't get anything going and fell to BC 39 to 16. One note from this game is that senior linebacker Junior Joseph was called for targeting in the second half. This means he will miss the first half of the next game, his last game as a Husky. The UConn Huskies will head down to Cincinnati for their last game of the year to take on the Bearcats next Saturday. From Fenway Park, I'm Kyle Berry, UCTV Sports.